Hello my beautiful glam queens, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I'm Alicia, lover of makeup and glam rock. The votes are in, thank you all who participated. Every Saturday I will be posting two products in my TikTok feed and now here on YouTube. And you guys will have a chance to vote which product is your favorite. Mm -hmm. Also, keep on watching to find out how you can get featured in next week's video. Uh, let's talk about the products. First product up is from Kiss. It's called I Envy, a strip lash adhesive with alloy. This one's clear, so it'll be white. And yes, it's the squeezable application one, which is pretty good. Now, these are gifts that my auntie, my aunt, my tia, just recently got me so they might be a little bit older than the actual new packaging that is out in the stores right now the newer packaging also doesn't say i envy on there so keep that in mind not sure where exactly she's came from most likely amazon because i do still see this packaging on amazon but it is sold through a third party called ive beauty ivy Be oh no ivy beauty that's the one. But this packaging right here is the new one. You could get it at kissusa.com and Ulta Beauty. This is also sold at Sally Beauty Supply. So if you shop there, you're in luck. They got this guy. And it is 0.25 ounces. At kissusa.com, it's around $3.19. That's a pretty good deal. These eyelash adhesive are always usually around $3.00. Most of them, at least. Should last you around 12 months. It is formaldehyde-free, hypoallergenic, and dermatologist tested. Hmm. This is a clear lash adhesive with soothing alloy and a narrow tip, as mentioned before. But just remember, it does have latex and it is waterproof. Also, what's good about it is that it should last you all day. Just right there in the face. It better. It has rubber latex, propylene glycol, alloy, barbadensis leaf extract, of course, fragrance and perfume, and carbomer? Carbomer. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, we got these really long lashes right here. Bada bing, bada boom. They're from Namie's. made in indonesia interesting what you want to do first of course is measure trim if needed these are very light but they'll stand out still because they're long do this wiggly movement because you want them nice and flexible uh go ahead and just place it down and just see if you need trimming or anything like that Usually I need the ends a little bit trimmed, but today I'm just going to put as is because I feel like it. And that's okay too. It's going to look really big. Now usually most lashes have like a shorter end to it. That will be the inner part and then a longer end to it will be the outer part. So we're going to do this one. I like to use the back of my hand. You don't have to. That's okay. If you want... You could use this, you could use a palette, or you could just, some people do this, just put the glue right on there like that, whatever is your preference. And then I like to have a spatula to grab the glue and lay it on there like this. The scent is very interesting. Smells like glue. Okay, just spread it around. There we go. Now, if you're working on yourself, go ahead and blow on it. Uh, if you're working on someone else, I would not blow on it because you're spinning on it. Just air it out like this. This is what I do. And then you wait 30 seconds, which is why I have my watch. <laughs> so usually I use my fingers, but uh, recently I've been using this Mute Asura. As Mute Asuru? Not sure how to pronounce that. It's an eyelash tool. I got it at the makeup show, the one that I filmed for you guys a while back ago. 
I'm sure I'm doing the right eye. By the way, I already like, I don't know if you noticed, put mascara on. Mm, don't worry about getting glue all over the place. Well, not all over the place. Like a little bit's going in my eye over here. What you doing? What you doing? What you trying to do? I see you. You don't want to get crazy with the glue, but it's okay if it goes up here. It's clear. It's going to dry clear. And I like to use this part here. Just push it. Like these. If you put this little guy someplace, like if you put them down and they all of a sudden you're freaking out and you're in a hurry and you lost it. But you see this guy, this helps too. See, just the same. So it's okay. Have no fear. Then I'm going to get the eyelash curler and we're going to squeeze them together now. Ooh, don't forget as well, before you curl, grab your mascara so they could look somewhat realistic and together and reapply. With the fake lashes. Yeah. Tricky but pretty. There we go. Make sure they're fully dry because if you uh, do this and then you lift it out, it might come off. So be careful. Look at the difference. <laughs> okay. Next, we have the brand Amorless Clean Mate Eyelash Adhesive. Oh, I got makeup on there already. There we go. This one is 0.14 ounces. It is black. I was going to use my white one, but for some reason, the white one was all dried up. I don't know why. Uh, I just received it too. I wonder how long my aunt's been holding on to these still. Makes me a little worried. Okay. <laughs> Can be found at amorelessusa.com and Amazon. It's a little bit of a search on Amazon, but it is there. Sold by Amorless on Amazon as well. Price of it is $3.00 expiration it doesn't say but it should last you around 12 months and i know it expires because this is the white one <laughs> i was examining it trying to figure out what happened here's the top i pulled out of it it's just all dried up all dried up here's the applicator it broke <laughs> but yeah it's it's in there it's, I don't know if you guys can hear it, sticky and dried up in there. So it definitely, definitely expires. Make sure you guys use these eyelash glues right away. Don't let them sit there. Also, it starts getting bacteria and stuff. So you want to use them up. I mean, all makeup does, but they do expire. Throw them away if you've had them for a really long time. And yeah. Be careful out there. <laughs> These are your eyes we're messing with. So we want to be gentle with them. Gentle. This one is cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, formaldehyde free, and even gluten free. This eyelash glue works with any, and I mean any, eyelash style that you use. Doesn't have to be just from them. Most eyelash glues are like that. They can be synthetic or natural lashes. It'll work. It does dry in seconds and it should be waterproof and of course long lasting. That means it should stay on your face during wind, rain, tears, and if you must sweat, it should hold during your sweat. Dance performers, this one might be for you. It enhances the lash line and makes it look thicker and voluminous. Voluminous. Voluminous? Voluminous? <laughs> it has an amazing silicone tip that should be easy to use and is mess free. Let's see that. Interesting. There's the tip, everybody. Wow. Usually I like to use these black ones with black eyeliner because usually it does have a black finish to them. So it works out. It has natural rubber latex, ammonium hydroxide, fragrance, and sodium dodecobenzene sulfonate. Wow. All right, now we're going to use it. This time, this one I'm going to apply directly on there. Ooh. Yes, I am. Just to demonstrate it for you guys. There we go. Ooh. 
Okay, make sure you get the ends really good too. The ends are usually the first things that start popping out. Okay, now again, remember to measure, trim, make sure everything's okay. Sometimes the eyelashes are not matching very well so you might have to do some adjustments let it dry 20 to 30 seconds and then we apply if you need to squeeze them together like this that's fine as well these things are lifesavers recommend you guys getting them i just feel like it's a little bit quicker than my fingers okay it's a lot quicker than just using my fingers <laughs> remember if before you do this, make sure it dries because you might be lifting them up. Be careful. This is a very interesting smell, by the way. I definitely smell the glue, but there's something else to it. I'm not too sure what it is, but it's very different than just regular glue. I don't know how to describe it. And then mascara, eyelash curler, basically rinse and repeat. <laughs> just kidding, don't rinse. But repeat. And uh, yeah, let's get to the results. Okay, let's zoom in on this baby. Here's the white. I don't know if you guys could still see a little bit of white. And then for the black, you just want everything blended. Nothing showing. That's the black. Can't see anything, right? I think you know my go-to is always black. <laughs> but I wasn't trying to do clear versus black anyways. I meant to do clear versus clear, but since this is dry, we had to do the black one. Okay, so now we're going to do the TikTok results. Here we go. TikTok. Oh, yeah. And the winner for this one. Do, 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 do. Oh. Just realized this is not closed. Okay, there we go. I don't know why the whole entire time I thought I had the cap on. There we go. <laughs> okay. I'm getting glue all over the place. Now it's getting messy. <laughs> okay, here we go. And the winner. Do -do -do. Boom! 75% kiss! Wow. Wow. And 25% amorgas. Congratulations, kiss. You are the winner. Okay, now we're going to move on to the YouTube results. YouTube. Hmm. Who could it be? Who could be the winner? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. YouTube. And the winner. Boom. Kiss again with 100%. Zero votes for this one this time. Wah -wah. You are the loser. Sorry. Kiss, congratulations, you are the winner. Woohoo! I definitely, definitely want to try more of this, but in black. Uh, there are different kinds, not with alloy, so I definitely will be trying those. So exciting! My go-to lash, <coughs> my go-to lash adhesives are usually Ardell and is Duo, D-U-O. That one's Ardell as well, I don't remember, unless if it's a different brand. Let me look it up. Duo is Ardell as well. So it's Ardell Duo Lash Adhesive. And then there's just the Ardell Lash Strip. But just to let you guys know, they're both from Ardell. So <laughs> I definitely think I'll be trying to kiss one because that seems to be very doable. You see, oh, does this look like it's lifting a little bit? from oh it gets coming off that one is from uh, there we go this one is from amorless kind of came off a little bit <laughs> now remember this is probably not a very fair review because my auntie got these and i don't know how long she may have had them so maybe this one is going a little bit bad already in that case i'll probably just take it right off <laughs> But uh, this one, the kiss one is still going good. It's good, it's good. Just want to mention to not just pull them off because they're on there pretty good. So make sure you use like an oil based remover and just have it sit on it. It's on there pretty good right now. Woo! 
The other one I pulled off because I already felt it. I already saw it coming off loose. It was hanging on by a thread. But this one, this one's, this one's going to need some makeup remover. Uh, now, did you want Kiss to win or did you want Amoras to win? Hmm? Hmm? Let me know in the comments below and I will feature you in next week's video. Also, just want to mention, boom, got one of my WrestleMania shirts on. <laughs> I didn't really get to go though. I just went to the pop-up store that they had going on at the uh, downtown LA. I think it was Stable Center. Not sure. I always forget what they call it now. Crypto? Crypto Center. Uh, yeah, anyways. They were selling a bunch of shirts and things, so that was pretty fun to go to. And just wanted to show it off. Right here, right now. Just because. <laughs> All right, that's all. That's all. See you guys next week. Keep on loving makeup and keep on rocking. Bye.